If your ChatGPT responses sound robotic, generic, or just off-brand, then this video is for you. It's inspired by my book, AI for Small Business, where I share 200 tools and strategies to help you get better results with AI. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. I'm gonna show you how to make ChatGPT sound more like you and less like every other AI user on the planet. It all comes down to how you instruct this tool. I use ChatGPT every single day and I've developed a system to get better results by training it to avoid the generic garbage that it's gonna give you unless you tell it not to. So today I'm walking through my exact worksheet, 90 overused ChatGPT words and phrases to avoid, plus how I use tools like text plays and custom instructions to sound like myself instead of a bot. If you want ChatGPT to sound more human, the first fix is simple. Stop using the same tired words and phrases everyone else is using. Let me show you the actual list I reference when reviewing any AI-generated response. This is my personal worksheet of words to avoid because I've seen how easily they sneak in and make your writing sound generic. We're talking about words like empower, game-changing, transformative, and cutting edge. You've seen these a million times, and so has your audience. Phrases like, at the end of the day, or this highlights, feel templated and robotic. They sound like filler because they are. I've organized this worksheet into clear categories, buzzwords, corporate cliches, filler phrases, so you can scan quickly and catch red flags before you hit publish. You can download this worksheet for free at the link below and start using it immediately. But it's not just the words that you use, it's the way that you structure your sentences. Let me show you a structure that screams written by a robot so that you can avoid it. There's one specific structure I see all the time in AI generated content and it it instantly sounds robotic. It's almost worse than the words that I shared first. It's this contrast setup. Managing a team isn't just about X, it's about Y and Z. This is everywhere. It's so formulaic. Once you spot it, you'll start seeing it in every AI draft. So instead, try going more direct. Managing a team requires efficient scheduling, time tracking, and payroll. This version is clearer. It's much more grounded. It actually sounds like something a human would say. One small change in structure, just choosing a direct sentence over a contrast heavy one can completely shift the tone of your writing. It makes your content feel more authentic and more aligned with your own voice. Now, before I show you how to customize ChatGPT to avoid all of this automatically, let me quickly tell you about a tool that I use that saves me a ton of time on the business side of things. It's called Navan, and they're sponsoring this video. So if you're a CEO, an HR lead, or head of operations, this part is for you. As your team scales, travel gets messy, costs go up, policies get ignored, and approval flows slow everything down. Devon solves that by putting travel booking, expense tracking, and policy enforcement in one intuitive platform. You can set smart guardrails, automate approvals, and even reward employees when they book under budget. So if you wanna save time on admin, check them out. Click on the first link in the description to get started with a free account. Huge thanks to Navon for supporting this video. Let's keep going. Here's where things get fun. You can actually teach ChatGPT to avoid all of this automatically. Here's how I do it. I take the worksheet that I showed you earlier and copy it directly into ChatGPT's custom instructions section. This applies if you are working within a project in ChatGPT, which I recommend. You can house multiple chats in one project and they can interact with one another. It also gives you an area for files and instructions. So specifically, I paste this under the field that asks, how can ChatGPT best help with this project? That way, every time I open a new chat in this project, those overused words and phrases are already flagged and the model knows to stay clear. Now, I do find that sometimes it misses my custom instructions. The model isn't perfect yet, so I also keep a copy of this list saved in TextBlaze, which is a free Google Chrome snippet tool that I use constantly. It lets me paste and refine my prompts in seconds, no matter what project I'm working on. Point being here, I'm not relying on memory. I'm building a system that gets smarter over time. I keep refining my snippets. I update my avoid list as I notice new patterns, and ChatGPT becomes more aligned with how I actually speak and right. That's the whole point of this. This habit alone has completely changed how I use AI, and I hope that it helps you too. And one last tip, and this is important, ChatGPT works better when you give it more input, not less. Don't expect a brilliant blog post from a two-line prompt. Feed it call transcripts, podcast interviews, even rough voice notes. Then ask it to summarize
summarize, review, or simplify, the more that you give ChatGPT as a starting point, the more that it's gonna give you back something good that's in your tone of voice based on your ideas. Back over here on this terrible prompt, even less than two sentences, I'm gonna show you how you can make this better. The output is always contingent on the input, so when in doubt, give more input. Use this plus sign, upload podcast transcripts, any material that shows your ideas, thoughts, etc. Or better yet, if you've got the ChatGPT mobile app downloaded, I hop between desktop and mobile all the time and click this little microphone right here and dictate. I'll say to it, ask me three questions to gather more information so I can give you context for that Instagram caption. Those are great questions that will hopefully jog some personalization, some ideas that are unique to you. And that's an instance where ChatGPT can finally use your words and ideas to make it sound unique. So if you want ChatGPT to sound like you, it starts with how you prompt. Download my worksheet, test your inputs, and train ChatGPT to write like a human, not a robot. Comment below if you want help writing your own custom instructions. I'll keep an eye on this video and reply when I can. And if you're looking for more tools like this, check out my book, AI for Small Business. You'll find over 200 recommendations for tools, including ways to make AI work for your brand, your tone, and your workflow. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.